Okay, let's get started. Square knot. I think this is the most simplest knot of all, but if you don't follow this pattern, you will get it wrong, I guarantee you. Right over left, then left over right. Also known as the reef knot, yes. Now, bowling knot. Now, a lot of people have troubles with the bowling knot, so we will make sure you understand this. Now, this is the breaking point here. The overhand loop, you have to make it proper here, okay? So take it around, back through, and all, you're familiar with all this. you practice enough since RTC, okay? Just like that. Now, if you take it through something, like tying off a messenger uh, with a heaving line, you'll take it through, make your loop, and all this. Now, if that's confusing to you, already have your loop made, then put it through the object, then complete the knot as you see. Okay. Then you have your bowling on a bite. You have two eyes that are not adjustable in the bite of the line. Now, just like the bowling, we're going to make two overhand loops on the standing part this time. Take this single loop through the back, reach through, and grab the eyes. Take that single loop around and up carefully and work out the slack. And adjust it and there you go single Beckett bend used to join two lines together or different sizes now if you had your practice line all you have to do is make a sharp bend feed the other end through around and back through the part you just made pull the bottom to lock it down All right, on two separate lines, make a sharp bend. Take the other one through, again, around, then back through that bite you just made as you were going around, pull the bottom to lock it in. Clove hitch. Now, as you see here, it's tied around an object called a spar. Take the line around, back towards you, and up, making an X back towards you again, and through that part that you made as you were going around, pull in opposite directions, simple. And round turn with two half hitches, similar to the clove hitch as far as purpose, around the spar. Now make your round turn by going over it this many times. Okay, that's considered a round turn. Take your standing part, I'm sorry, your working end around the standing part, make a half hitch, make one more half hitch, snug them up, then work out the slack and set the knot. French bowling, you have two adjustable eyes, and the setup is almost identical to the bowling. Make sure you have your proper overhand loop right here have enough line to make two eyes. Take it through once, second time through, and then complete it just like a conventional bowling. Pull it tight, and you can go ahead and test it to make sure it is, in fact, adjustable. Carrot bend. Now, you were taught that this bend is used to join two lines that are five inches and larger, which are called housers. The important thing here again is the setup. Take a line like this, make an overhand loop just like that. Take your second line over that loop, then we're gonna follow the pattern of the knot. As we're going around, We'll encounter the next part, which will go under, naturally goes over this one, then under, then over, and you guessed it, back under. Take up the slack, even it up, and if you need to use this for something practical, seize the bitter ends to the standing part. Barrel hitch. Now the barrel hitch is useful for tying around a bulky object like a barrel. Now while I'm untying this here, uh, 
a little bit of a pro tip if you're watching this video and I'm going a little too fast all you have to do is pause it nothing wrong with that you know how to do that okay now place the object right over the line make an overhand knot now take apart the overhand knot just like this slip it over each side carefully run it down the side of the object pull it taut you notice you made two hitches one on each side now in order for this to be stable make sure the hitches are above the center of gravity keep everything tight on both parts we're going to go ahead and finish it off with a bowline make sure you have that overhand loop take the other end just like the working end through and then around the standing part keeping it taut back through the loop from the top pull on the hoisting part you notice sometimes you get it a little off no problem just work out the slack on one side follow it around snug it up test it out good to go all right finally we get to our rolling hitch just like in the mooring lab you were passing a stopper with a crisscross stopper and this is the rat tail stopper version with a rolling hitch now before we get to the knot we're going to get to know the half hitch so a half hitch just simply goes around an object and take the line back under itself and then you snug it up to start it off that's what we're going to do take it around back under that part that I just pointed out work out the slack now you're going to follow it back around and this time you're going to make an X go around back under itself again and then pull it taut to lock it in notice the X right here that's what you want then you simply tie one half hitch at this point then you pull it taut then go in this opposite direction here to hold everything down and you can just hold on to it or seize it to keep it in place well that's it this video was brought to you by the following references the boats mate and the semen nab ed tray thank you for watching